Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod review and today we are checking out another release in the Grilled Turkey 2022 roadmap and that is going to be the Project Mojave and CR outfit pack by the Fried Turkey and HCGX Grill. Now then, what this mod is going to do is obviously add in a ton of NCR outfits into the game, specifically ones that were featured in the Project Mojave mod. One thing I see a lot is people asking for standalone releases of some of the items, outfits, armors, weapons, etc. from the Project Mojave mod, and that's something we actually see a good bit of on this roadmap, and the first of which, again, is going to be that NCR outfit pack. So all of these outfits will now be taken from Project Mojave and integrated into the Commonwealth. You will be able to purchase them at different clothing vendors like Fallon's Basement. And then you can also purchase different crafting recipes for each of these outfits so that you can then craft them over at a chemistry station so you can have them whenever you like or just make whichever ones you want for your settlers to wear. Now, for being an NCR-focused outfit pack, we actually do get a good bit of variety here, as we do have some of the different Ranger armors, as well as standard Trooper armors, and even some of the casual sort of civilian-style outfits that some of the more low-level Rangers would wear in New Vegas. So, in no particular order, here are the outfits that you're going to be getting in this mod. You will be getting three different variations of Ranger outfits. That's going to be the Ranger Casual outfit, the Ranger Vest outfit, and the Ranger Red Scarf outfit. Now, I actually like each of these a good bit as, as a nice sort of Western wear to your character. If you are using something like the Desperados overhaul, where you have a desert environment and you want more Western outfits, this is definitely going to be a great pack to add to your load order to add even more outfits of that style. And these are classic Fallout outfits and they fit very well in the game. We also get the NCR Trooper outfit, the classic outfit worn by the military, as well as two variations of the NCR Trooper helmet, one with the goggles up and one with the goggles down. On top of that, we have the NCR Military Police outfit, the outfit worn by the military police patrolling the Strip. This would be a great thing to throw onto, say, some settlements. If you have an NCR settlement, this would be great for the guard force there. And this one also comes with two variations of the helmet, again, with goggles up and goggles down. And of course, if we're going to have an NCR pack, you do need the NCR Ranger Combat Armor and the NCR Ranger Combat Helmet, one of the most famous New Vegas armors as it's literally on the cover of the game. These guys are so badass and now you can wear the exact same outfit. But on top of the NCR Ranger Armor, we get a couple of additions, like the Desert Ranger Armor from the Honest Hearts DLC, a variation with a green visor and a cool desert paint job. Again, perfect if you are running the Desperados overhaul. This armor fits very well in a desert setting and just looks fantastic. But it doesn't end there. We also get some other famous variations of the Ranger outfit with the Riot Gear. If you remember the Riot Gear from the Lonesome Road DLC, this is a tweaked advanced version of the NCR Ranger armor that just has a little bit more beefiness to it. But with that, we also get the Advanced Riot Gear, which is another step further with even more bits of armor thrown on top of it, as well as, of course, the Elite Riot Gear, the top tier armor that you're wearing at the end of the Lonesome Road that pretty much everybody adorned when their character was final level. It's a truly badass looking set of armor and now it is available in Fallout 4 with all of its different variations and permutations. Now, one thing I will say about these armors fitting into Fallout 4 is their stats are kind of wonky. Things like the Elite Riot Gear, the top tier armor in this pack, only has a damage resistance of 22 and something like the Ranger Vest outfit has a damage resistance of one. Now that one does make a good bit of sense since it's only clothing, but I would think something like the Elite Riot Gear would have some really hefty stats to it, much like it did in Fallout New Vegas. But because we use a modular armor system in Fallout 4, things like full sets of armor just are kind of out of place, unless you take them over to an armor workbench. From here, each armor in this pack does have the ability to throw on a ballistic weave. So if we take the best armor in this pack, the Elite Riot Gear, and throw on the highest grade of ballistic weave, we get a total damage resistance of 132 and energy resistance of 110, which is a pretty sizable upgrade from its vanilla stats. Now that being said, there is one little caveat, and that is that that Ballistic Weave is available for all pack parts of this pack. So if we go down to the Ranger Vest outfit, throw on a Ballistic Weave, do the Mark V, 
It has a damage resistance of 111 and an energy resistance of 110, which is not far off from that elite riot gear. It only has a difference of about 20 armor resistance. So you can really wear any armor in this pack. I've always been kind of iffy on Ballistic Weave and Fallout 4, and so it's not really the mod's fault, but it's rather a core mechanic of the vanilla game. Regardless, though, all of these armors look great, and stats aside, I'm sure you'll be willing to rock these no matter what their stats are. Now, one small thing, since we are looking at the armor workbench, again, each of these armors do have Ballistic Weave options, but that is it. If, if we go through all of these, there is no other option besides Ballistic Weave, which is a bit of a shame. I would like to at least see something like linings, you know, for example, deep pocketed, different upgrades that you can throw on the vanilla armor pieces. It would be nice just to have these have a little bit more customization. I'm not asking for additional armor pieces or color customization, but just simple linings, you know, deep pocketed, uh, armored, stuff like that, just to uh, give you a way to further tweak the armor that you're wearing. So, like I said earlier, if you head over to a clothing vendor like Fallon's Basement, and we Here open up clothes. their barter inventory. Clothes make the person, right? And head over to the miscellaneous section. Here you can see the plans for NCR civilian outfits, NCR ranger outfits, NCR riot outfits, and NCR trooper outfits. So we'll go ahead and buy all of those, take them over to a chemistry station, and see what those crafting costs are. So once you've purchased those recipes from a vendor, you head over to the chemistry station and you will find two new categories, the NCR helmets category and the NCR outfits category. I actually quite like the addition of being able to craft these by purchasing the recipes, something that I think would be pretty nice in the vanilla game for all the vanilla outfits. Now then, head over to the NCR helmet section and you will see all of the different things that we can craft, like the advanced riot gear helmet, which is only gonna cost you two steel. Pretty cheap for a pretty cool looking helmet. We also have the Desert Ranger Combat Helmet, Elite Riot Gear, the Goggles Helmet, the MP Goggles Helmet, the MP Trooper Helmet, the Ranger Helmet, the Riot Gear Helmet, and the Trooper Helmet, all of which, again, costing only two steel. Now, if we head down to the NCR Outfits, we're going to have some different crafting costs. Things like Armor are going to cost you two cloth and four steel, whereas something like the Ambassador Suit is only going to be four cloth, and that's pretty much the same as we go down the list here. Things with more cloth, like the NCR Trooper Armor, are going to cost four cloth and two steel, whereas things that are completely cloth will be only cloth. Pretty cheap crafting costs for some pretty cool armors. What you're really going to be paying for is those Ballistic Weave upgrades. So yeah, guys, that's going to be the Project Mojave NCR Outfit Pack by the Fried Turkey and HCGX Grill. A wonderful set of armors, something we've already seen in Project Mojave, but now it is a nice standalone thing that you can download in case you're not using the much larger pack. Definitely a really cool release from the Grilled Turkey 2022 roadmap. And if you haven't seen that roadmap yet, I highly recommend checking it out. It is available on the Capital Wasteland Discord, as well as on each of the mod descriptions from the roadmap. Coming up, we actually do have a couple more outfit packs, so you can expect to see some more videos like this. There will be another expansion to the Capital Wasteland outfit packs, as well as another Project Mojave outfit pack that will feature a lot more of the civilian outfits like random commoner outfits, as well as things like Benny's suit. So we are going to be getting a lot of really cool classic outfits to be integrated into the Commonwealth pretty soon, which is going to be awesome. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to try this mod out for yourself, it will be linked down in the description below. And if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel in videos just like this one. So again, thank you.